Uh, on a new business, we have one other item. It's another call for a special election. Resolution of the City Council of the City of Seattle to regulate and provide for the calling of a special municipal election on Tuesday, November 8, 2011, to submit to the qualified voters of the City of Seattle the issue of local authorization and regulation of package sales of alcohol beverages on Sundays and other purposes. Whereas Senate Bill 10 of the 2011 session, the Georgia General Assembly has approved the amendment OCGA 3 3 7 provides that a government authority may submit to the qualified voters of such judicial such municipalities the issues of package sales and alcohol beverages by retailers on Sundays between the hours of 12.30 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. Whereas the municipal election superintendent of the city of Stemble shall call and conduct an election concerning the questions posed on November 8, 2011, conforming with the election laws of Georgia Election Code. Now, therefore, be resolved, be it ordinance and resolved by the city of Stemble Georgia, a Georgia municipal corporation, and by the authority of the same, is hereby ordained and resolved as follows. Section 1, that under and by the virtue of the charter of the city of Stubble, constitutional laws of the state, including OCGA 3-3-7, as amended OCGA 20-2-540, a special municipal election B, and, here is, and hereby called to be held in the city of Stubble on November 8, 2011, at which election there shall be submitted to qualified voters of the city the following question. Shall the governing authority of the city of Stella be authorized to permit and regulate package sales by retailers of both malt beverages and wine on Sundays from 12.30 p.m. until 11.30 p.m.? If more than one half of the votes cast this question are for approval of the Sunday package sales by retailers of malt beverages and wines on Sunday from 12.30 p.m. until 11.30 p.m., Sunday package sales shall be authorized as of November 12, 2011, during the hours stated above. Section 2, the voting poll shall open at 7 a.m. and close at 7 p.m. on November 8, 2011, at the regular places for holding elections in the city of Snellville. Said election shall be held in accordance and conformity with the laws of the state of Georgia. Section 3, registration of electorates to vote in the November 8, 2011, special municipal election shall close at 5 p.m. on October 11, 2011. Section 4, the compensation is authorized for poll workers, including poll superintendent and manager in amount set by city council. Section 5, that a notice of special municipal election be advertised at least once a week for four weeks prior, previous to the date of the election in the legal order of the city of Snellville. Section 6, that the notice of said election shall be substantially following form as hereby attached in Exhibit A. The chair will entertain a motion to approve that ordinance. So moved. There's a motion by Mr. Witz. Is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Counts. Mr. Witz. Well, I guess if you haven't heard about this movement, you've been living under a rock. Um, it's been the talk of the uh, legislature, uh, and I'll now talk about both municipalities and governing authorities. Basically, all this does is give the people of Snellville the right to vote on whether they want to allow this in their city on Sundays. Whether I'm for or against the actual thing is immaterial. This is a freedom issue. This is the right of the people to vote on what they want. So um, I am very much in support of this and uh, giving the people that right. This counts? Well, that's music to my ears to hear Council Member Woods uh, say that because it, it was not long ago that we were in a lawsuit over a very similar issue um, where the council passed. Sunday alcohol sales without having a referendum. Uh, I have always been in support of a referendum. I've always kept my personal views on whether you should drink or purchase alcohol on Sundays uh, to myself as an elected official. Uh, I try not to put those out there in the public. Uh, but I do believe in the freedom of choice and the freedom to vote and uh, citizens having a voice. I believed in that when we had the first issue. Uh, and that's why I always opposed passage of the uh, ordinance then without having a referendum. And so I will support this uh, tonight, asking the citizens one way or the other to please come out and vote. Uh, this election, this referendum will coincide with an election we are already having, so it will not cost our taxpayers any additional money to hold this referendum. So I will support this measure tonight. And Ms. Capps, any other members of Capps wish to apply? Mr. Sabah? Well, it's probably not a, it's not a big secret that you all know I typically do not vote for anything that has to do with liquor, sales, package stores, uh, drink, etc. However, I will support this tonight because, again, as uh, Council uh, Member uh, uh, Tom Witts and uh, Councilwoman Kelly Cowell stated, that this is a people's voice. It's out there for the public to make the, the, the decision whether the uh, whether Kroger can sell um, malt by the face on Sunday after church. That's that's your voice. That's 
in this issue. So let me, and therefore I will support that. Uh, but if it happens to be uh, a vote by council, I would definitely would have said no to that. Right? As, as you all know, my position on that. Therefore, I am all for it. Thank you, Mr. Sabah. Anybody else wish to speak to council? I would like to point out that I will be introducing an ordinance that puts this into ordinance form. It will be introduced for first reading on the 18th and the second reading and adoption on the 22nd. That way, when the election's held, that will in effect immediately and there will be an ordinance in place and we won't have any issues. As you know, I know all the issues about liquor by the drink and other things in the city. I will do also point out this is only for beer and wine. This is not. We do not have package stores. This is not a referendum to allow package stores. This is just allow for retailers like Kroger and Publix to, to sell beer and wine on Sunday. And that's it. So I hope there's no confusion. And we'll have a rep of orders passed. So it'll be out there for the citizens. And I already believe a statute will come out and vote. And with that, if there's only comments, I'll call a question. All those in favor of the resolution to call the special election on Sunday package sales signify by raising the right hand. That's 5 0. The motion is approved. The resolution is adopted. The special election is hereby called. That concludes our new business. Does any member of the council wish to be recognized for the purpose of a report?